333. Your intuition is your best guide in making decisions, trust it to lead you in the right direction. Type 333 if you are ready. 777. The universe is aligning everything in your favor. Have faith and keep moving forward with confidence. Type 777 if you are ready. 555. Changes on the horizon. Embrace it as an opportunity for growth and transformation. Type 555 if you are ready. 111. Stay positive and focused on your goals. The universe is conspiring to help you achieve them. Type 111 if you are ready. 222. Balance is key. Find harmony in all aspects of your life to achieve fulfillment. Type 222 if you are ready. 444. Your hard work and dedication will soon pay off. Keep pushing forward with determination. Type 444 if you are ready. 666. Trust in your abilities and inner wisdom. You have the power to overcome many challenges that come your way. Type 666 if you are ready. 888. Abundance is flowing into your life. Be open to receiving all the blessings that come your way. Type 888 if you are ready. 123. Simplify your life by focusing on what truly matters. Clarity will lead you to success. Type 123 if you are ready. 456. Take one step at a time towards your goals. Progress is made by consistent effort. Type 456 if you are ready. 789. Stay optimistic and keep a positive mindset. Good things are on the way to you. Type 789 if you are ready. 246. Find balance between work and play. Nurturing both aspects will lead to a fulfilling life. Type 246 if you are ready. 135. Listen to your inner voice. It holds the answers you seek to find your true purpose. Type 135 if you are ready. 369. Let go of what no longer serves you to make space for new opportunities and growth. Type 369 if you are ready. 579. Collaborate with others to achieve mutual success. Together you can accomplish great things. Type 579 if you are ready. When you say this world needs God, you're expressing a sentiment shared by many throughout history. The idea of a divine presence offering guidance, comfort, and meaning resonates deeply with countless individuals across cultures and beliefs. In times of turmoil, uncertainty, or personal struggle, turning to a higher power can provide solace and strength. God, as a concept, embodies different meanings and interpretations for different people. For some, God represents an omnipotent and omniscient being who created the universe and governs it with divine providence. For others, God is a source of unconditional love, compassion, and forgiveness offering hope and redemption to all who seek it. Still, others view God as a universal force or energy that permeates all existence, connecting everything in a profound and mysterious way. In a world filled with challenges, conflicts, and suffering, the idea of God offers a sense of purpose and meaning. It reminds us that we are part of something greater than ourselves, that our lives have significance beyond the material realm. Belief in God can provide a moral compass, guiding us towards kindness, generosity, and empathy for others. Moreover, the concept of God serves as a unifying force transcending cultural, 
religious, and ideological boundaries. It reminds us of our shared humanity and the interconnectedness of all life. In a world often divided by differences, belief in a higher power can foster understanding, tolerance, and cooperation among individuals and communities. However, it's essential to recognize that the notion of God is deeply personal and subjective. Not everyone subscribes to the same beliefs or interpretations, and that diversity enriches our collective human experience. Respect for differing perspectives fosters dialogue, mutual understanding, and intellectual growth. Furthermore, while belief in God can offer comfort and guidance, it's not a panacea for the world's problems. It's incumbent upon us, as individuals and as a society, to address social injustices, environmental degradation, and other pressing issues through thoughtful action and collective effort. Belief in God can inspire us to work towards a more just, compassionate, and sustainable world, but it's our actions that bring about real change. Ultimately, whether or not one believes in God is a deeply personal decision, shaped by a myriad of factors including upbringing, culture, personal experiences, and spiritual inquiry. For those who do believe, God represents a source of love, hope, and transcendence in a world often fraught with challenges and uncertainties. And for those who don't, humanism, ethics, and reason provide alternative frameworks for navigating life's complexities with integrity and compassion. In conclusion, when you say this world needs God, you're articulating a longing for meaning, connection, and transcendence that resonates with many people. Whether one believes in a personal deity, a universal force, or simply the inherent dignity of humanity, the quest for understanding and purpose is a fundamental aspect of the human experience. By engaging in dialogue, respecting diverse perspectives, and working together towards common goals, we can create a world that reflects the values of compassion, justice, and reverence for life, whether or not we invoke the name of God. Absolutely, I understand the importance of sharing deep and meaningful messages about faith and patience. Here are a series of 6,000 words worth of diverse, engaging messages about God, waiting, and blessings. Patience is a virtue often spoken of in religious and philosophical texts. In the context of faith, it takes on a profound significance. Sometimes, the journey of life leads us through paths of waiting and uncertainty. Yet, this waiting is not without purpose. It is believed that God's timing is perfect. Even if it doesn't align with our own plans and desires, this period of waiting is often a precursor to something greater, a larger blessing that is being prepared for us. The concept of divine timing suggests that every delay, every obstacle, and every moment of waiting has a purpose. It is during these times that we are called to strengthen our faith, deepen our trust, and prepare our hearts for the blessings that are to come. Just as a seed must undergo a period of dormancy before it can sprout and flourish, we too must sometimes wait for the right conditions for our blessings to manifest. Consider the story of Joseph in the Bible, sold into slavery by his own brothers, falsely accused, and imprisoned. Joseph endured years of hardship, yet, throughout his trials, he remained patient and faithful. In the end, his patience was rewarded when he rose to become the second most powerful man in Egypt, 
saving countless lives during a severe famine. Joseph's story reminds us that even in the darkest times, God is working behind the scenes to bring about a greater good. Waiting can be likened to a refining process, just as gold is purified through fire. Our character and faith are refined through the trials of waiting. It is in these moments that we learn resilience, perseverance, and humility. We are reminded that we are not in control, and that surrendering to a higher power can bring peace and clarity. The Bible speaks of this refining process in several passages. In Isaiah 48 hours 10 minutes, it says, See, I have refined you, though not as silver I have tested you in the furnace of affliction. This verse highlights the purpose of our trials a to refine and prepare us for the blessings that await. It is through these challenges that we grow stronger and more capable of handling the gifts and responsibilities that come our way. Trust is a crucial component of faith. Trusting that God has a plan for us, even when we cannot see it, is a testament to our belief in His wisdom and love. Proverbs 3-5-6 advises us to trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding in all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your paths straight. This verse encourages us to relinquish our desire for control and to trust that God's plan is greater than our own. When we trust in God's timing, we acknowledge that He knows what is best for us. We may not understand why we are being asked to wait, but we can take comfort in the knowledge that God sees the bigger picture. He knows what we need, when we need it, and how best to deliver it. Faith is often tested in the waiting. It is easy to have faith when everything is going well, but it is during the challenging times that our faith is truly tested and strengthened. James 1-3-4 reminds us, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Through the trials of waiting, our faith grows deeper and more resilient. The journey of waiting can also be a time of preparation. As we wait, we can use this time to grow spiritually, emotionally, and mentally. We can engage in prayer, meditation, and reflection, seeking to align ourselves more closely with God's will. This period of waiting can become a time of personal growth and transformation, preparing us to receive the blessings that are to come. During times of waiting, prayer becomes a powerful tool. It is through prayer that we communicate with God, expressing our hopes, fears, and desires. Prayer provides us with comfort and guidance, reminding us that we are not alone in our journey. Philippians 4-6-7 encourages us, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Reflection is equally important. By reflecting on our lives and the ways in which God has previously worked in our favor, we can gain perspective and reassurance. Remembering past blessings and answered prayers can reinforce our faith and trust in God's timing. It reminds us that, although the waiting can be difficult, it often leads to outcomes far greater than we could have imagined. It's important to remember that a delay is not a denial. Just because something hasn't happened yet doesn't mean it won't happen. God's delays are often opportunities for us to grow and to prepare for what's to come. They are a reminder that God's plans are bigger and better than our own. Romans 8:28 offers reassurance. 
and we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Even when things don't happen according to our timeline, we can trust that God is working all things together for our good. His delays are purposeful, paving the way for blessings that align perfectly with his plan for our lives. Waiting is an inevitable part of life, but it doesn't have to be a time of frustration and anxiety. Instead, it can be a period of growth, reflection, and preparation. By embracing the journey and trusting in God's timing, we can find peace and purpose in the waiting. The journey of waiting is an opportunity to deepen our relationship with God. It is a time to seek His guidance, to lean on His strength, and to grow in our faith. As we wait, we are reminded that we are not alone a God is with us every step of the way, guiding us towards the blessings He has in store. During periods of waiting, the support of a faith community can be invaluable. Sharing our struggles and hopes with others who understand and empathize can provide comfort and encouragement. Ecclesiastes 4 to 9 10 reminds us, two are better than one, because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up, but pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. Being part of a community allows us to support and uplift one another, reminding us that we are not alone in our journey. Together, we can pray, reflect, and find strength in our shared faith. This sense of community can make the waiting period more bearable providing a network of love and support. The virtue of patience is celebrated in many religious and philosophical traditions. It is seen as a sign of maturity and wisdom, reflecting our ability to remain steadfast and hopeful even in the face of adversity. Galatians 5 23 lists patience as one of the fruits of the Spirit, alongside love joy, peace, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Cultivating patience requires practice and intention. It involves shifting our mindset from one of impatience and frustration to one of trust and surrender. By focusing on the present moment and finding joy in the journey, we can develop the patience needed to navigate life's uncertainties. One of the challenges of waiting is the tendency to focus on the future, often at the expense of the present. We become so fixated on what we are waiting for that we forget to appreciate the blessings of the here and now. Yet, Finding joy in the present is crucial for maintaining a positive outlook and a sense of peace. Philippians 4 11 13 offers valuable insight. I am not saying this because I am in need, for I have learned to be content whatever the circumstances. I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. I can do all this through him who gives me strength. Contentment comes from recognizing the blessings that are already present in our lives and finding joy in the journey, rather than fixating solely on the destination. By cultivating gratitude and mindfulness, we can experience a sense of fulfillment, even in the midst of waiting. When we say that sometimes God makes us wait longer because the blessing is bigger, we are acknowledging the possibility of a greater reward. The period of waiting is not in vain it is a time of preparation for something extraordinary. Isaiah 40 hours 31 minutes offers hope. But those who help in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. 
they will walk and not be faint. This verse reminds us that by placing our hope and trust in God, we will be renewed and strengthened. The waiting period, while challenging, is an opportunity to draw closer to God, to deepen our faith, and to prepare ourselves for the blessings that are to come. In times of waiting, it is essential to remember God's unfailing love and faithfulness. Lamentations us, because of the Lord's great love we are not consumed.